hope you're all doing great and today as you can see i have a really fun makeup tutorial for you guys and i wanted to try this makeup look for halloween and it's inspired from the dear filter you can see on snapchat one of my most favorite filters i used very frequently if you follow me on snapchat you will know that and uh, my daughter also loves the filter very much and i wanted to try this look because it's really simple really fun and cute makeup look so if you want to know how i did this look please keep on watching i also did this hair band myself at home it's a diy so if you want to see how i did this hair band Please give a thumbs up so that I will know you want to watch it and I will upload it very soon. You can use the same technique and steps and make any animal ear hairband you want. It's really easy, very simple, very cheap. And now let's move on to the tutorial. To start, I'll apply moisturizer all over my face and I had already cleaned my face before doing that. Next to apply foundation, I'll take a damp makeup sponge blend it in with a slight pressure not too heavy handed conceal my under eye dark circle i am using this concealer and corrector which is a 2 in 1 product I'm applying it using my ring finger as it has the least pressure and blend it in with the makeup sponge to brighten my under eye area nose forehead cupid's bow and chin i'll use this to highlight them I'm not applying too much, just a little bit and then I'll blend it all in with the same makeup sponge. Then once it's done, to prevent the concealer from creasing, I'll apply some loose translucent powder and keep it for 10 to 15 minutes. Using a buffing brush for that. While it's setting, I'll move on to my eyebrows and I'll use this NYX eyebrow pencil to give them some definition and volume. I'm applying the color then I'm blending all in with the brush available and it gives a very natural look. I love it. So let's now remove the excess powder from the face using the same buffing brush. To begin my eye makeup, I'm using this pretty pink shade as a base color on my lids has some shimmer in it and is really pretty. To brighten my inner eye area, I'm using the shade and I'm using the small applicator brush which came in the palette because it's really perfect for the job. Then I'll use this Maybelline Colossal Liner to trace out the start point, end point and mid point of where my eyeliner should go. It's a felt tip liner and is not very intense black that helps me to define my eyeliner shape first so you can make it thick or thin as you want and you just have to trace out the rough shape it may not be like perfectly finished then using liquid liner we'll go over that to add more sharpness, more color and that will give a finished look. If you blink you may have some liquid liner on your lids so don't worry and I'm not using a waterproof eyeliner so I can easily remove and try to look down while doing it so that you can know the shape you want to go for. To remove some excess I'm using a q-tip and water and you can just add a touch up of eyeshadow after that. I'll curl my lashes and add two coats of mascara to give a nice volume. I'll use the NYX contour and highlighting palette and I'm using the darkest shade available and I'm applying on my forehead and on my nose and I'll blend it in a bit and you can build up the color as you want. Using the NYX jumbo eye pencil in shade milk, I'll apply it around my nose very creamy and very easy to apply and then to make the nose I'll use the same mix jumbo pencil and shade black bean and make a nose these jumbo pencils are such a great product I just love it you can use it for so many different stuff then using the white color I'll fill the rest in and make the dear spots on my forehead as well to make my eyes look brighter I'll apply my lower lashes waterline and blend in Using the shade tan and a blush brush, I'll apply it on my cheeks. 
to give some color using Maybelline dream touch blush I'll apply a dab on to my cheeks to give a pink glow to lips I'll first line with a lip liner and fill it in with the same finish top it off with NYX liquid suede in shade soft spoken and we are done with this look guys like this video please give a thumbs up and if you try this makeup look don't forget to tag me i will surely want to check it out your attempt hope you have a spooky halloween and what makeup look are you going to try this halloween let me know in comments below so that's it for today guys i'll see you soon with another video thanks for watching bye bye